everybody tonight, we have an equation or a pair of equations very similar uh, to an SMO Junior 2012 problem. And I'm going to write this down even though it's probably not necessary. Uh, it's just a property of equalities. If we know that A is equal to B and uh, C is equal to D, using capital letters here, uh, and this literally is an axiom of equality. It follows, this implies that um, AC equals BD. Okay. And this is so natural that, you know, it's barely worth writing down, right? But that's exactly what we did. And I stared at this problem for longer than I want to admit before I realized this simple idea, the simple axiomatic property of equality is what we had to use. And so that's what we did right here, folks. We're, I'm multiplying the two uh, givens together, the two equations together, all right? Now, uh, some nice things happen right here. Notice that 2 to the minus a is the same as 1 over uh, 2 to the a. All right, and uh, similar for uh, 2 to the b, this is 2 to the minus b is 1 over 2 raised to the b. Now, you may be thinking a and b turn out to be integers. It turns out it's very difficult to directly find a and b, and it turns out that they're not integers. That's why I was specified that A and B are real numbers. So this is a, a standard problem ilk where you can find something that would actually determine the, the two independent variables here, or the two, the two unknowns here, A and B. All right, now, of course, when you expand this out, you can see why we get this one right here. 2A times 1 over 2A is the one you see right here. And then uh, 2B times 1 over 2B is the one that you see right here. And the rest of this is just laws of exponents. When you juxtapose um, 2a and 2 to the minus b, you get 2 to the a minus b, and similarly right here, okay? Now, uh, notice uh, this is working out pretty nicely so far. Um, uh, if you subtract 2 from both sides, 1 plus 1 is 2, of course. And so this, this uh, 17 over 4 you see is just 25 over 4. Uh, minus 2, okay, minus 2, but do note that 2 is the same as 8 over 4, right? 2 is the same thing as 8 over 4, and so uh, 25 minus 8 is 17, so that's where we get this, okay? Now, on to the last line here. Now, what were we supposed to find? We are supposed to find uh, 2 to the b minus a, all right? But notice this is fairly easy to, to figure out because um, this is the very same thing as 4 and 1 fourth, right? So it's fairly easy to conclude that uh, this right, and not, remember that B was, um, uh, A is greater than B, and so, in other words, this, this term right here is really the same thing as uh, 2 to the uh, b minus a, right? And think of uh, b minus a is equal to um, b minus a is equal to minus a minus b, right? And you know the property of exponents, the negative exponent property is what's going on right there. But so, uh, let me finish writing this. Okay. And so clearly, 2 to the b minus a, uh, this is equal to that. And really, this step wasn't particularly necessary, I guess. But uh, you can, this is equal to uh, 1 fourth. Okay. And that does it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's see, let's go up and write this down. Uh, equals to one fourth. Alrighty, uh, thank you for viewing.